For the known periods of humanity, there's been one thing that's been worshipped more than anything else. The sun. The sun around us, the thing that gives Superman his energy, the thing that Mesopotamia designed a whole culture around, and the thing that the Egyptians worshipped over and over again. The sun is one of the most amazing things that humans have as a tool, yet so many of us stay inside and barely get any of it. In today's lesson, we're going to cover the benefits of sunlight, and I know it's scary. It burns! And how you can get the most out of sunlight in your day-to-day -day routines. Stick around to the end where I'm going to give you a bonus of how you can use sunlight daily to help you improve your sleep. And before we get this started, make sure to press the subscribe button so you can get notifications when more videos just like this are released for you. We neglect the sun so often. Kids are literally growing up right now, hiding from the sun, sitting inside, playing video games, and the worst part is the screens that they're using can't even be brought outside and have the same luminosity as it is inside, so kids don't want to go outside. In past generations, people have revered the sun. Everybody loves the sun. I mean, heck, you love the sun, and most people take two vacations a year where they go to a sunny area and they sit out and they sunbathe the whole time until they get too much sun exposure and end up getting burnt. But that's not how it should be. The sun is quite literally the source of light in this world. It's the source of the energy that we have because light is energy. And truth be told, the sun, getting sunlight exposure to the skin, to the body, to the eyes, is so important for our overall health and well-being, our energy, and our productivity throughout the day. Just like when plants don't get sunlight, and they can't conduct photosynthesis, when we don't get sunlight, there's a lot that can go wrong. Our circadian rhythm gets thrown off, our vitamin D levels go down, and our overall sense of and feeling of well-being really diminishes. On the other hand, Learning how to get more sunlight in your day can be so easy and so simple and it's something that we really need to dive into in this episode today. So let's start with the most simple way to get more sunlight. One, take a walk. Okay, it may seem like you don't have much time for exercise in your day or maybe you do have a lot of time and you don't like to do it outside because your gym is indoors and it's hard to find one that has the same equipment outside. But taking a quick walk throughout the day not only will boost productivity, not only will increase cognition and help you get off those last five pounds, but what it will really do is give you that exposure to sunlight. Your hands, your feet, your face, those are areas that can really absorb the sunlight, the UVB rays, the ones that actually help to create vitamin D. So by walking around outside with those exposed, and maybe you don't wanna go barefoot running because it's a hot day, and I know personally I, one time did a few laps barefoot running in a hundred degree concrete and ended up with blisters all over my feet. So don't do that. On the other hand, going and walking around, making sure your hands are outside of your pocket, you're in a good posture and you're looking without sunglasses on. And I'll get to that in a moment can really help to increase your sense of well-being and the amount of sunlight exposure you're getting to your skin, the natural vitamin D production that you're getting daily. The second thing that we have is vacations and getaways. See, so many of us are always going on vacations and the one place we should be going if we're living further from the equator is somewhere near the equator where we can get direct sunlight, good sunlight, that we can sit outside and every single day during our vacation, during our break, whenever we have time for it, we really need to start learning to incorporate sunlight into our day because not only is this playing into feeding into higher leverage skills by giving us more energy and allowing to do more during the day, but it's a skill to learn to do things outside because outside is nature and you have so much more creativity and ability to really get in touch with yourself by being outside in the sunlight. Now, before we get to the third thing, I do want to let you know, you only need 20 minutes of direct sunlight a day. What? Yeah, that's it. 20 minutes. So if you're getting 20 minutes of direct sunlight a day, then you actually are getting enough sunlight. And well, enough is really relative to your deficiencies, how your skin melanin is, and so many other things. Just getting 20 minutes a day should be a priority. So the third way to get it is wake up in the morning and go get yourself a cup of coffee, sit outside and drink it while listening to an audiobook or a podcast. Remember in the other video that I talked about productivity and how to use wasted time? Well, this is a time where you can get some sunlight and use that wasted time walking around, listening to an audiobook, sitting outside, listening to a podcast, and drinking your morning cup of coffee. As a bonus, in the morning, you need to get a little bit of sunlight because it helps to reset your circadian rhythm and make sure it's on track with how the 24-hour cycle of the day really is going. So 
what are the three main benefits for getting sunlight each and every day, at least the 20 minutes that you should be getting. Number one is vitamin D. See, a lot of people think that if they sit inside, they sit behind glass panes, that they're getting sunlight. But what's really happening is UVB rays, the rays that allow your body to create vitamin D and to really get that healthful feeling, don't pass through glass panes. They don't pass through anything. They aren't luminous. So what happens is you only get UVA rays. And if you see truck drivers, the left half of their body that's exposed to sunlight more through the window ages between five and ten years more than the right side of their body and that's because uva rays are the cancerous skin cancer causing rays that people are getting so often benefit number one is getting vitamin d each and every day that you can produce yourself the second benefit is actually mood and well-being so many of us feel depressed we get sad seasonal affective disorder and we get so many things that happen because of a lack of sunlight going on a vacation in the middle of winter to make sure that your mood's boosted and you can survive the rest of the cold is actually a great way to keep your mood elevated and your well-being positive because the more that we sit in a dark cavernous gloomy type area the more that we you know get out of touch with who we are because we can get cloudy minds that is a real thing and that happens so frequently that people end up getting that bad mood and they end up not feeling right because of the lack of sunlight so sunlight itself really helps to increase other neurochemicals that help to make you have that good mood and to help you feel good on the inside benefit number three is eyesight this one may surprise you but the amount of macular degeneration that kids are going through where they need glasses because their eyesight isn't good enough has been linked directly to a lack of sunlight see humans need a certain amount of light to hit their eyes each and every day for the actual irises and ciliary muscles to make sure that they're strengthened and ready for sunlight what's been happening is we've been decreasing the amount of sun that we actually see in the native light that goes into our eyes daily this is making it so kids themselves while they're in school are not getting any light they're getting overhead high led bulbs which are not good for your eyes by going outside and getting it's two hours of sunlight a day is the amount of natural light that your eyes are supposed to get in order to stay healthy and to make sure that you don't need glasses i'm going to link the study below and i know i scrolled through it a bit during this video but it is so important if you have kids to make sure that they get outside and they do see the sun without sunglasses sunglasses will not allow your eyes to be strengthened they're dimming it they do make your eyes weak Weaker. I don't wear sunglasses and it's for that reason regardless of the looks regardless of the style your eyes do need light they need light contact now if you're driving in a car you're looking at the sun through glass of course sunglasses work because that blocks out the harmful UVA rays but if you're looking at the sun out in nature don't use sunglasses well one don't look directly at the sun but if you have natural light coming in your eyes don't use sunglasses because it's going to strengthen the eyes and actually allow them to work more efficiently now i promised you a bonus and that was around sleep so the fact of the matter is by getting sunlight 20 minutes a day you can reset your circadian rhythm cycle and make sure that every morning you wake up with the sun see i've been practicing for a long time not using an alarm clock and so what i do is i go to bed with the sun and i wake up with the sun and that alone has helped me so much with making sure that I can wake up peacefully and go to sleep peacefully. I wanna thank you for watching this video. Make sure to comment below with your favorite way to get sun throughout the day. If you get the 20 minutes in the morning, if you go on vacation specifically for sun. Otherwise, if this video helped you in any way, press the like button and make sure to subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future. I'll see you soon. Right now, I'm gonna go catch some sun on the first sunny day in Michigan in April.